Hello and welcome back to my series of videos where we create the free code camp Pomodoro clock. In this video, we'll learn how to lift state up and use React props. By the end of this video, you should understand when and how to lift state up into a parent component to share and pass props into a child component from that parent component. Additionally, you'll learn how to format moment durations using a package called moment duration format. This here is the current state of our application. We have one app component that has in itself two components, a session component and a break component. What we want to do is add a time left component and this time left component will have the actual timer. We need to initialize this timer with the session length or the break length. So we need access to the data that is in currently in session or in break. However, we cannot share data between sibling components. Therefore, we must lift state up. Instead of having the break length inside the break and the session length inside the session, we'll have break length inside of the app and session length inside of the app. That way we can use props to pass session length down to session and session length down to time left to initialize the timer. Again, we'll lift state up for break length as well. We can pass break length down to break and use break length to initialize the timer when necessary. Now, I hope you understand why we need to lift state up. If you didn't understand that, feel free to rewind. But for now, let's get into some code. Now in the terminal, let's quickly start our application. And in the browser, this should bring up our current application. We'll start in our session component. As we said, we want to lift state up into our app component. That means we'll take session length and we'll take set session length up into our app component, as well as the functions that we created to add minutes or take away minutes from that session length. So let's cut these variables out of session, go into our app component and paste them right in there. You'll see that use state has a red squiggle underneath and that just means that we need to import it from React. So let's import use state from React just like that. You'll see yellow squiggles here meaning that these are unused variables. Additionally, in session component, you'll see red squiggles, meaning that VS Code has no idea where to find these variables, where they're, let's say, initialized. So back in app.js, let's pass these variables from the app component into our session component. And to do that, we declare variables in the component that we want to pass them into, and have them equal exactly what we want to pass. So for instance, the variable named session length in session will be the session length here in app. The variable decrement session length by one minute will be the decrement session length by one minute here in app. And similarly for increment session length by one minute. Back in the session component, we need to accept these props. We do that by passing a props argument here in the session functional component. We can destructure these props like so. Basically, we're taking session length, decrement session length by one minute, and increment session length by one minute out of the props variable that is passed into every single React component. Going further, we can destructure these props right where we pass them into our functional component. If we go back to our application, you'll see that everything is still working properly, properly and we broke nothing. Let's go into our break component and do something very similar. We'll cut out the entire state for the break component, put it into the application, pass the state and decrementer incrementers into break, and in the break component, accept these props. Let's go back to our application, make sure nothing broke, and you'll see break here is still working. In our terminal, you'll see two warnings that use state is defined but never used in both the session component and break. So let's go back and delete this import from session and break. Now the next thing we'll do is create that new component, that new time left component. 
Now let's make sure that the time left component is imported properly in app.js. So here at the top, we'll import the time left component. And on the bottom here, we'll put the time left components right between the break and session components. Let's go back to our application. And you'll see I am time left. Our time left component is rendering properly. Now what we want to do in our time left component is initialize the time left state to be the session length. So let's actually pass the session length into our time left component. Go into our time left component, accept that prop, create a new piece of state using the use state react hook. And finally here we'll render out that time left. Let's go back to our application and make sure we're rendering out that time left properly. You'll see that we see 1500 here in our application. Finally, we want to render out time left as minute, minute, and second, second. So for instance, if we have 25 minutes, it'll render out to be 25 colon zero zero. To do this, we'll install a moment plugin called moment duration format. So in your terminal, type in yarn add moment duration format, or if you're using npm, use npm install moment duration format. With that installed, let's import both packages into time left. So import moment from, oops, import moment from moment and import moment duration format setup from moment duration format. And lastly, to complete the setup, we must call the setup function and pass in the entire moment package. Lastly, in the time left component, component, let's create a variable called formatted time left, and that'll be equal to a new moment duration, which is in unit seconds, and we'll call the format function, which comes from moment duration format, the plugin, and we'll format it to minute minutes and second seconds. Lastly, render out the formatted time left, and let's check out our application and see if that worked. You'll see here, we have 25 colon zero zero. We're rendering out the time left properly in our Pomodoro clock. Just to recap this video, we took out the state from the session component and we took out the state from our break component. Both of these states now live in the app component. We did this so that we can pass both the session length and the break length when necessary to our time left component and share the break length and se session length throughout our entire application. This is called lifting state up. We pass this state through what is called react props. If you enjoyed this video, please support me. Follow me on Twitter at Arian Jabari. Follow me at dev.2 at ArianJNYC. Visit my website, thewebdevcoach.com or follow me on Instagram at thewebdevcoach. Don't forget to click that like button, click that bell, click the subscribe button, etc., etc. Peace out.